Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Axiom Verge. Last time we got ourselves the address bomb and the drone teleporter, giving us a lot of movement capabilities. Alright, let's get some address bomb out of the way to transform all these people. And climb up, because we can start clearing out some areas now. There's our area to the top left, to the right there, you can see. We're gonna crow we're gonna cross over that area now. Let's do a couple of things here. Up, up. Up and cross here and address bump. Yep. Now you climb up and over in this area here. Uh, let's give this give the Varange something. Okay, right. Let, let, let the Varange do its job. Tentacle time. Uh, still range. Still range. Good. Right then. Now, this area here. Let's go and do with it. We'll come back for the bottom thing in a bit. This is kind of the important one. There you go, that's that done. Now over here is another room. Let me just quickly move the microphone because I've leant back now. Right, okay. Now, what we can do here is just quickly take care of this guy over here. Uh, make sure I don't hit them. I can't hit the other ones. The other ones are kind of required. Because if you do that, they basically become moving platforms. Which means that you can just wait for them to pop down. Hi. Now can you move back up, sir? Sir? S sir, I'd like to climb, please, sir. Up, oh, sir, we're getting up. Sir, sir, sir. That guy's blocking the path. Good. I'll take it. I can go hit. There we go. And in there. There we go. And there we go. And like so. Oh, what a noise. What a noise. But it leads us to a very good area. And let's get the Kilver out. I think we can just dig everything down here, can't we? Yeah, this is entire this entire area is diggable, which is very nice and very relaxing just to go there and go down. We get a. Weapon called the Tethered Charge. A field of uncharged particles on an unbreakable leash. Basically, is this. Kind of a yo-yo shot that is surprisingly strong. Now we just... Does that deactivate something here? A large wall. Now where do we get out here? An area where we've been, I see. This is where we had the field disruptor. We got our high jump, so we did a nice full circle there. Very, very nice. Up, and up, and up. There we go. Now, tethered, the tethered charge is kind of a really nice weapon. It is a very nice weapon because it just it does it does a lot of damage. And it has it's quite fast and it's quite It's a useful weapon. I mean we do like useful weapons. Alright, so that's this area cleared out. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so let's carry on and keep going up. Make sure we clear out everything we get our hands on. 
We're full clear. Right, so. Keep going up. Keep heading up. Up we go. Right. We can just clear out the area here. There's a couple of squares in the area above us we haven't touched yet. Um, okay, can't do it that way. I'm going to do it this way. Uh, do it via the grappling hook, I think. There we go. It also works as you can use the, the, the charge to pick up things as well, which is very nice. It also acts like a grappling hook, or rather like an item grappling hook, rather than an actual grappling hook. Which is useful. Alright, we're still climbing though. We're still climbing, because we've got stuff to be doing up here. You've got areas to be clearing. Like, here. Alright. Okay. We're still climbing up, to be honest. Like, we still need to climb. We still climbing. Because I think everything down here, we've gotten. There's a bit of the area to the right there, you see that? We haven't got that, but we can't get that yet, so we're gonna deal, we're gonna skip that for now. What about here? This room is, this room is clear. Um, I can't remember if I got the things, in the, if I got everything in this room though, let's find out. I think we did clear this room out. Yep, yeah, we have. Okay, we cleared out this room. No, this, this side of the room anyway. Which means you can still go up. This is why this thing is crazy. The, the, the drone teleport gives you so much movement. Gives you so much movement. It's it's almost ridiculous how much movement this thing gives you. Uh, to the right, how about to the right? To the right, we're cleared out as well. Because to the right is where we got our drone launcher, our extended range drone launcher. So we just climb up here. To the left, give it a quick save. Not only a quick save, but of course, jump up to explore the room. We can also explore the rest of this room as well, because I think now we can head to the right here. I'm pretty sure we can head to the right here now. Yeah, anyway, let's explore the room out. Ah, we haven't got everything yet. But we have now. From the High Priestess. We have retrieved what remains of your belongings from the old silo. The old machines are yours. The clergy awaits your instructions. You have free reign to either redeem or condemn yourselves. Choose well. Ashinima. Right, let's make sure we just explore the rest of the room properly as well. Okay, there we go. Explore this room completely. How are we doing? We haven't explored the entire area, but we're close. We are very close to exploring the entire area. Because I think now... Yeah, we can get through there now, see? Because we can do this. Teleport and dash through there. Which is, what, which is what was missing beforehand. Now we're in an area that is difficult, to say the least. These guys are not easy. And I think, and these guys cannot be... Can, he, can I address bomb him? Can he be done with an address bomb? Oh, he can. Only with an address bomb. Okay. Trixie, Trixie. Uh, right. You guys take a lot to die.
Trace, I have seen this kind of barrier before. It requires special key to bypass. Physical object carried by the Sudrons. Okay. Are you going to apologize for killing me earlier? Trace, that was her apology. I think I'll just go look for the damn key now, thanks. I think I can... Uh, there's something here, isn't there? I think, hang on, is it, where is it? It's gonna be around here somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it is now. There's something here, I can't remember where it is. Somewhere over here. Yep, yeah, maybe we can't get it yet. That's the problem about playing the game with all the tools, then finishing it, and then realizing that you don't quite remember where everything was. Alright, let's get, let's get through there. Up, and over, and around. This is a very, um... This reminds me a lot of, um... N not Norfair, but like, um... What's it called? Oh, like, uh, Ridley's part of Norfair. Like, Ridley's specific little area of Norfair. Right, through here. We can't get that either. Not yet, because, again, it's a big thing, and it's a wall, and it's three long, so we can't, we can't teleport through them. It's almost like they stole this coming. Can you at least jump up there? Uh, can you kill her? I think kill her is going to be quicker. Right, okay. Carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Um, I'm use Tethered Charge. Tethered Charge is still pretty strong in dealing with these guys. Right, okay. That's not good, because I just took right on top of me yet. Okay, whoa. Okay, grab that, and luckily, luckily for me, save room. Because we are going to need the save room. I think on a speed run, you do not save in here, specifically because you want to use the save um, thing to basically move very quickly as a form of fast travel. Let's clear out as much as we can quickly. Because we're looking for things in here. And... Right, okay, so... You can dig through these, it just takes forever. So... Oh, wrong, wrong button, wrong button. Land of Civilized Kings. The land of civilized kings, spoken with reverence in poem and song alike, is often described as our motherland, our birthright, a promised kingdom. It is this one's opinion that the land of civilized kings is none other than Sidra itself, in a time of former glory. The old machines, those perennial tokens of bad fortune, were once were our one-time salvation, eternal harvest, eternal happiness, eternal life. How did you learn to fear such things? Human nature. We are trained to expect bad to follow from good, like night following day. We have an instinct not to drink too deeply from the sweetest nectars, and of sometimes we f this instinct swings to the other excess. It is time to stop speaking of the land of civilized kings as a long lost dream. As it was never lost, it is simply waiting for us to wake up. I like this level of optimism. We're looking for something in here, of course, and remember that these things look like are, are the pedestals. But it's not there. Huh, it's interesting, it's not here. Which means we have to be looking for it elsewhere. Maybe it's up there.
maybe it's over here. Not here either, interesting, come on. Maybe it's over there? Nope, not there either. A lot of, a lot of exploring to do. Okay, so just drop that there. I'm not sure what that does to them, but it doesn't, definitely makes them... I think it makes them stupider, and I'll, I'll take that. Maybe it's over here. This is taking a long... Wrong button again. This is taking a long time with all the damage boosts we have. Imagine if we hadn't picked up every single damage boost we've picked up so far. That would be crazy. Right. I know where this is, so... Let's go look for it. It's not over there. Save you guys some time. I think it's over here? It's either here or the one beneath me. That's no, over here. Here it is. Boop. Sudran Key. Used to bypass certain doors on Sudra. Yeah. So, that's that. That's a fast movement technique as well. As long as the drone doesn't hit the floor, the drone hitting the floor is takes a while to, to hatch. If you can hatch the drone in mid-air, it's very, very fast. Right, okay, and up, up. Now we have the Sudran key, which means that the Sudran doors will be opened. Which means the area we were at beforehand. Hello, and let's grab you, because because I don't know what you do. But you seem to make these guys very stupid. I appreciate that very much. These guys do hurt very much. So like that guy himself took me took half my health away. Okay, good. That door is now open. Aha! Which means we can get that damage boost. Aha! I do like the damage boosts. Power node. Permanently increases weapon and item damage. Always very, very nice. Right, and let's drop another one of these. Right, can I hit, can I hit this guy with a Kilver? I think this guy, yeah. Hit that guy with a Kilver. Okay. No, I think I can, hit this, I can hit this guy with a killer as well, I believe. Good. I can get through there. Start exploring this area. Oh, what's this area called again? This area is called Ekurma. Whatever that means. Right. What can we do with you, sir? Axiom Disruptor, I think, is the best port of call. Ah, no. Ah. Okay, good. Ah, okay. Ah. Two at once, two at once, two at once. Uh, Kilver. I don't kill her for shotgun damage in both of them. There you go. Much better. Much, 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 much better. Okay, here. Pop in here, quick. And out. And down. Ah, oh, hang on, ooh. Yeah, we can't get to you. See? Because of the it's a three wide wall, we can't get to you yet. Uh, I think. Yeah, we can just drop down here. 
There's that guy, but he's nowhere just at the moment. Okay. Avoid all the rest of these guys. Another save point. Right. There's a area exit above as well. Which I believe is the way out. It's the way out of here. We don't want to go there. Not yet. We have things to collect here. Don't know why they're here. But we got things to collect here. Okay, there's a guy over there. Like, they're not actually that... Is there something up there? Looks like, looks like there's something up there, isn't there? Okay. No. Odd. Fair enough. Like, they're actually not as resistant. They just deal a lot of damage. They're not that resistant, which is thankful. Okay, let's keep exploring. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, a lot of these guys, huh? I. S. K. A. R. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm going to write this down. 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 I S K A R T E H. Might have missed one in there. A N Z U I I S K A I S K A R T E H E N Z U I. Okay, so the I is different colors. So let's see what happens if I go for. Um, what do I want? Oh, this button, password. I S K A R T E H A N Z U. Is that active? Yeah, it's active. Okay, can I think? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can I kill this guy? Like, you you would. That's why you have to try to. You need. You really need to go for and basically. Um. Like, transform everyone and affect everyone you can. Because you would never find that if you weren't looking for it. If you, would, if you didn't know, basically, to... Have it your way, mate. I-S-K-A-R. Yep. I'll, I'll show you what happens with it, because it's already done. Turns out. Um, okay. On. There you go, and one of you. Nice, that'll be useful. Can you climb up here? Oh, you can get. Oh, I think. Oh, God, no, this is. Okay, that's. Okay, let's climb up here. Oh, we're done. And then up here. This is a new weapon as well. What's this one? This is a uh, quantum variegator. Randomly just flight vector for more coverage. It's a very weird weapon, this. It's like a machine gun, but it just goes everywhere. Everywhere. So it's not a very useful weapon. I don't think it's a very useful weapon. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's a very useful weapon. But here, I think, is where it is. I think it's here. If I... Is it somewhere somewhere nearby? Where is it? Uh, 
I think it's over here. Hmm. Health and fragment, body, body, blah, done that, sorted out. Brilliant. Ah, yes. I remember I forgot to pick something up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hang on, I'll have to go back later on. But that code, I think... What that code did is not going to be as apparent, because I think I activated it first. But hopefully I think I'll remember where it was. It basically opens a door. It basically reveals a door that would not let it be revealed to you. I think to be fair, what, it's, it's where I picked up the, um... Where it's where I picked up the... This thing. This The area this was would not have been visible if I had not activated that code. That's pretty much it, I think. Right, down here, oh, here. Okay, where are we? Where are we? We are in the right location. We are in the very much the right location. Yes, we are, because you'll see that in there. Look what, look what we have there beneath us now, and you'll see what is expected to happen of this area. This is the l I think this is, this is the last movement item we get. The red coat, double tap to teleport, damages tiles and enemies in your path. This is the last coat, and I got an achievement unlocked 100% of tools. We have all the tools we require to win the game. Yeah. You can now double tap, it's a longer double tap, and it will break uh, blocks as and when you arrive. Which will makes which makes um, getting into areas a lot easier, and your teleport is of course a lot bigger. And so, boom, done, done, done. We can leave now, but there's still one more thing we need to do because we've explored the map here, haven't we? Hang on, let's go back to map. If we've explored the map, we haven't got everything yet because there's one thing missing that we didn't pick up because we couldn't. Right, okay. Yeah, this area here... Ah, oh, see, there it is. It's gone. See? The area there is gone. If I had to activate the password... There you go. There you go. That's what that password is used for. Right, up. It's only you only find that password out if you like uh, warp those things that are visible only in this only exist in this room. That is, it's an interesting conundrum. Ah, oh, one of you guys, hello. Ah, uh, yes. Almost done. Almost. Almost done. With this room area. One thing to pick up. Just one thing to pick up that we passed before because you couldn't get in. Save. Yeah, I think this, what this does is it makes it, it basically ruins its pathing, which is interesting. Uh, can you just climb up the old-fashioned way? Okay, and up, and teleport up. was over here, if you remember, if you recall. 
that you know, that thing is the only thing that's missing in this area. Now we can pick it up. Official letter to the High Priestess Ishinema. While we are normally hesitant to recommend any course of action that may that the Kalito may have suggested, we have little choice. We are unlikely to survive this, regardless. Give them what they want. Nin Uruna. Now I think that's everything for this area. No, it's not. I'm missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing for this area? Ah, yes. I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna go all the way around again. Am I? Am I? Right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do. Interest. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make use of the um, save trick because I'm gonna do something interesting here. I'm gonna go all the way back. Show you what I'm missing. Okay, here, here, up, here, up. I'm not gonna save there, because I'm gonna make you to the fact that when you when you quit out, you go back to where you were, where you last saved. It's over here. This is where I'm missing something. It's over here somewhere. I swear it's over here somewhere. Uh, hang on. It's over. Here. Let's, kill, let's, let's, let's kill these guys first of all. Maybe it's for the other side. I'm pretty sure it's very sure it's on that side. Hmm. Oh, it's over here. No, I didn't even need to do that way. Okay, fair enough. It must not be forgotten the legacy of Sudra. In those far remote days, it was a battle of war. It was a time of war of battles between angry demons and angry men when roaring storms of fire and darkness were cast like stones between combatants. It was not until the sky's ocean was torn asunder, the last drop, the last crop turned to dust, the last brick of the last home shattered, and the last warrior and the last demon lay dying, that the people understood their sin. And so the arms of the apocalypse were sealed, the masses of patterns castrated, the old machines returned to slumber. The legacy of Sudra is atonement. It is reparation of the sea, and the stars. It is the surface. It is the suffering that brings our salvation. Right. So that was what I wanted to get. And now, what I can just do now, I'm show you what happens. You go boom. Exit the title. Save. Then if you just go back in, if you see we are 82 item percent complete, 84 map complete, complete. This is about six hours in. Let me just show you. We reappear here. And I'm gonna just do a minor thing here just so that we um, finish off this area completely, which I think we have. Yep, all items and all uh, area discovered, and we can just do it here. Because over here we come out on this end, which leads us to this area here. Which means we can now walk back this way. There you go. The reason you couldn't do it the other way around, because there's a wall there, so you couldn't dash through it. Even though it's only a two wide gap, you can't dash through it because there's a wall on the other side. You need the red coat to do that. But that means we've done this area. Not complete. Oh, there's that, that boss room isn't cleared out yet. Right, let's do that now as well. Let's do that as well. Since, since we're here, I'm going to finish off this area completely because I think we're just a, we're just like maybe one item away from finish off the entire area. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Finish off the entire area here. We can drop down here. I think if we just send up our drone to that area a bit, that clears out the whole... Yep, we've explored the entire area. 100% map completion for this area. Drop down again. Clear out everything on the way down. One item remaining, I think, in this area. Just over here, and... Those repair drones go nuts. They do go crazy. Okay, and down, and across, and down.
The red coat makes movement fantabulously easy. Just go wham, two things, right. Now, what is missing, I believe, is in the area above us. No, it's in, this is in the area above us, so let's go over there quick. Lickety split. Quickly get up there and finish off this area completely. Right, whoop, and up and up and up and up and up and whoop and up and up and up and where is it? It's up. Where it's over here. We couldn't get through this before. Now we can. Pick up that. You couldn't really see it, but you'll see it here. The Ion Beam fires a continuous di di directed beam of ionized particles. Which is not... What's missing, I wonder? Hang on, what did we not get? Ah, yes, hang on. The area, I, the thing I forgot before. Okay, this, this is the Ion Beam. It's a straight beam weapon. It just does damage in a beam. It's quite, it's quite strong, but... I think because you have other weapons that basically do a lot of damage in a line... It's not necessarily as strong as it would otherwise be, but yes. Hang on, let's quickly go get the last thing that we need to get. Let's quickly just drop as far as we can. All the way down, let's drop as far as much as possible. We need to drop, 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 drop. I think we need to go in here, because we didn't get the thing over here that I said I was going to get. The thing I said I was going to get that we ended up not getting. Let's get this to the Iron Beam go. I guess the Iron Beam is useful in the, in the sense that you don't have to really look around for things, you can just hit them. You don't have to, you don't have to time your beam, I suppose. That's one benefit of it. But yes, I forgot to get the thing over here, didn't I? Yes, I did. The one in here. Which is the Health Node. We'll head in the Health Node Fragment. Just, that should be everything in this area. Yes. Okay. So this this area is also completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the save point to the southwest of me, to the bottom left, and I'll catch you guys next time. We've cleared out Ikurma completely. We've cleared out Kur completely. We've cleared out Eden completely. We've pretty much cleared out Indy completely as well. I think. Like, Z's map's completed, just need a couple of items left. Indy is item complete, just needs to finish off the map. Ukinna, we haven't finished yet, because there's stuff we didn't pick up there. Eden is complete, Urkama is complete, Erebu, again, not completed. Absolutely not completed. So we're gonna go, basically, finish there. Next episode's gonna be, we're gonna basically do the, the wrap-up, because we've got all the tools, we're just picking up everything else. So we're gonna finish off Z, we're gonna finish off Absu, we're gonna finish off Erebu, I might do the indie map completion off screen because it's literally just running across the bottom of the map. Then we'll carry on. Wait, we'll, we'll carry on. We will carry on, do a lot of stuff anyway. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Catch you then. Bye.